Hi, um, my name's Molly Jo Lynch. Um, I'm reading from my phone bullet points because my memory is terrible. Um, and I want this to go smoothly. So yeah, I'm Molly, I'm 22. Um, when I was 17, um, I was in hospital, I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Um, I moved into Rethink St Andrew's Court in August 2014 at the age of 19. Um, I came to Rethink straight from uh, multiple very long hospital admissions. Um, Rethink gave me a chance to live outside of hospital. Um, I had no idea what benefits I was entitled to. I hadn't been receiving them while I was in hospital. I was relying on my family. Uh, Rethink supported me to contact Citizens Advice Bureau um, and after, again, supporting me in meetings and things, um, they got me on to PIP and ESA um, and housing benefit. Um, generally, they supported me to keep myself safe, remind me to look after myself, my personal care, and actually um, recently move forward. I've, um, they helped me um, apply to um, the housing people, um, Home Finder, um, um, and got me onto Gold Band. And I I'm now living uh, mostly independently in a flat nearby. Um, I still re uh, receive outreach support. Um, my link workers, they um, help me understand letters I receive about benefits and general things because I sometimes find things hard to uh, understand and what what I need, what action I need to take, what appropriate action when I receive these letters. Um, and general emotional support and still just reminding me if I'm make sure I'm eating and everything like that. Um, I've been volunteering since a couple of years ago. I've been volunteering at a day centre for adults with learning disabilities, which I absolutely love. Um, and actually, I've just in the recent weeks applied for a paid job there part time um, and rethink. Uh, not only provided me with a character reference, um, also helped me to um, understand how much work I could do and still receiving benefits as something called um, paid work, as I understand it. Um, they've helped me fill in the forms for that, so I'm still waiting to hear back, but that's very exciting. Um, to be blunt, I wouldn't be where I am now without Rethink. I don't know if I'd even be around um, Rethink of, I can't fault Rethink. And um, I often write poems about how I feel. Um, it's sort of like an emotional outlet. Um, and I've written one about Rethink and I'd like to share it with you. So, um, okay. My mental health was at a low. Voices and fears were starting to grow. I felt distressed and I'd had enough. No place to call home, life was rough. I was beaten, broken and feeling lost, trying to get by at any cost. Looking forward, there was only the unknown, dealing with life all alone. Then Rethink was there and gave me a place to stay. And although my problems didn't just go away, the staff were great and gave me support, helping me through every bad thought. Times were hard when I was unwell, I put everyone I know through hell, and sometimes I couldn't trust my mind. The staff here were patient and so very kind. They gave me a hand to hold such wonderful people with hearts of gold. And when life was going very wrong, they helped me to recover and be strong. In the past, I would never have believed all the things with their guidance I have now achieved. And it wasn't all just doom and gloom. For fun and laughter, there was lots of room. My neighbours and I have become good friends. We'll stick together through life's twists and bends. My flat was my home through stormy weather, but I always knew it wasn't a forever. And now the time has come that I must leave. In a way, I am sad and I'll grieve because my flat was my sanctuary, my own safe space, and I couldn't have asked for a better place. So a big thanks to Rethink is what I'd like to say for helping me become who I am today. <laughs> um, thank you. Goodbye.